Disclaimer or caveat, this is not politically inclined. The views expressed here are just focusing on security, but because we live in this piece of world, we got to talk on the side a little bit. Cali community, Cali Purple community, has people promoting Black Lives Matter, and they're pushing that into the cybersecurity world, where if you're not with the Black Lives Matter, you know, you're going to get banned, but how do they know that you're not with the Black Lives Matter? Well, my ideology about it is real can recognize both fake and real. But fake can only recognize fake. Although when it looks at the real stuff, it seems to them as not real, but it's just a foreign object, so they reject it. But because they're evil, they just use the tactic which they got. And I'm saying, I was talking to Cube. Now, Cube is, um, is part of the Wishby technical team and X and G Live security staff and um we were talking about the front end of this 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 establishment the cybersecurity tech, technological um you know company which we got and i was suggesting that we should have white people that can be the front of the company that was my suggestion i said look if we're doing the work we're doing and we understand what we're doing. We know that it works. We've been implementing it. We're still we're still implementing it and we will continue to do so. So we know our abilities. It's that's not the question anymore. But we still need to engage with the world sometimes, not just in a cybersecurity aspect, but just because we like just like we see Cali guys doing Black Lives Matter, I mean, this thing seems like you can't escape it. So I said, look, we need to engage in, 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 in a social, maybe somehow political way. I said, look, let's bring white people. And they will become the front face of the company. So the founder will be white. <laughs> the co-founder will be white. The management, the secretary, the administration is all white. White as like, you know, white, like extremely, you know, like. Like, the, the, the hair color should be not blonde. It would be, like, yellow. You know those white people that have a yellow hair? Like, so, so white. Like, the Danish people in Denmark, yeah. So, I said, like, I'm just, you know, I just put that exaggeration there as a joke. But I said, let's have white people come work in the company so we can at least engage with this world. Because we feel like we're, you know, like, we're, like, we're, like, like, like shackled. You know what I mean? He said, no, man, that's racist. How can you bring somebody that's white? You're hindering me and you're you're taking my power and my effort. You, I will never be somebody. And at first click in my head, I mean, like it dawned at me, like, why do you think you will never be somebody? That means now, Q, you're linking your success to fame. Because what is the front end? The front end is the public image. The public image is what receives the most reception. And it's the commonly known. So if you're 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 like you feel like if you will never be public, then that's failure means you're looking at success as what? Fame. You're looking at fame as success. And if you want to be successful, you gotta be famous. And in order for you to be famous, you gotta be successful. I'm here saying that doesn't matter. Success has nothing to do with fame, has nothing to do with the public image. But even with that, he's kind of arguing like, yeah, but that you're, you have a hundred-year-old mentality, like a hundred-year-old guy mentality, like a classic old, you know, ancient, primitive mentality where you can't accept the fact that blacks or dark-skinned or non-whites can do whatever white people can do. And that this is just like not the mentality to go about it. Well, I'm here saying it's not us who are racist. 
And it's neither the white people that are racist. It's the guys in between. It's the masses that are racist. That won't never accept anything if it's not coming from a white person. Like I have this friend and I asked his permission to, to, to talk about his uncle. Now I will not say who is this friend. But he also works with X and G and Oshby. And he has an uncle. Well, he's from Iran. And he has an uncle, right? His uncle is trying to invent a free energy generator. A generator that takes the energy that is already available around it and just just produces it in, in an energy that like an energy that we can consume. As if energy is, is already around us, so we don't need to take a specific material. So, And they sent this guy to psychic care. They accused him of being crazy. They took him to rehab just because he was smoking hashish. And his entire family is, like, against him. And I was just walking and thinking about this guy. And I'm like, this man, at a 50-year-old age is trying to invent a free air generate free energy generator inside of a country like Iran with the type of dictatorship the type of <laughs> ideology that is there with the neurosis that the people have that will never work but once I said it will never work the click it hit me I said he reminds me of someone and that person is me now, what an abundance, they say. That was the first time that I can see myself from the outside. That, that's the first time I observe myself as a third person. I never knew how it looks like to be me, how it seems like. But now I understand why people lost hope or never believed in my Things that I wanted to develop. And the reason here is never, it, it was never about, it was never me that they didn't believe in. It's the people around me that they didn't believe in. And hence they said, your solution is not going to work. Not that I can't do it. <laughs> I always thought that they looked at me as if I'm unable to do it. No. Now I understand that. They looked at the people around me and how uneducated, ignorant, lacking will and determination and interest to, to ever apply the solution that I might come up with. And therefore, it will not work. <clears throat> so, I had to go through that by myself. I had to go and continue to try to develop because this thing is that the guy is doing, he's developing. He's not doing, he's just trying to build solutions. He's developing, right? And I continue to do the same thing until I, I, I hit the wall myself. And I'm glad I did because I could have never done that. I could have never hit the wall and I could have wasted my time my entire life. So I'm glad that I came to the conclusion that People don't want solutions. We don't need to build nothing. We already built enough of technology. The problem now has nothing to do with developing any more solutions. Because that has nothing to do with the problem that will never fix it. The problem is the people. But also the people has a problem. So, now... In a way, the people are right. Those that accuse <laughs> this 50-year-old man of being insane are right. The ones that accuse me of being insane are also right. By the way, I just got a diagnosis today from my doctor. He says I'm insane. I'll talk about that some other time. So, he... They are right. He's insane. He will never, like, he shouldn't focus on it. it like, motherfucker. 
And people are right. I understood now that what really gonna fix it is it's like people like if he's trying to invent a generator means that he's trying to fix a problem. But what is that problem? What that problem is? People know that that generator won't fix their problem, so they won't accept it. So it's not about, and if you read my novel, I'm promoting my novel for the hundredth time, it, it speaks about this issue. It's not about what people want, it's about what people don't want. People can already fix their problems. It's just that there's always somebody stopping them from fixing their problems. So what people want is security, and that's why I'm in this security field, in the cyber security field. People can fix whatever, whenever, whatever problem they got. They will always group up and fix it. And I'm worried about a guy now with a tuxedo that will snipe me after I say this, but fuck it. That's the issue. If everybody has security, everyone's problem will be fixed. Everybody has worries. Everybody is worried. Now, cybersecurity doesn't attack, and I'll never talk about how to attack. Like, I got a guy one time, he was coming and asking me, he said that there was some girl um, contacting him, and she's kind of like blackmailing him with information, trying to get close to him, and he's worried about somebody chasing him. And he asked me, he said, can you hack this girl? Can you hack her device? I want to know who she is and who's sending her. I, I uh, believed him in the beginning. I said, because I wanted something back. So I said, look, we could do it. So I offered him the solution of how to hack this girl. I said, first, we need to collect information. Information gathering. That's the first step when you hack somebody is to gather information. And in order for us to get this information, I gave him solutions which we can implement, kind of like phishing, since she was the one coming. And did you know what he did? He blocked me. He stopped answering me. People think that hackers have revelations coming down from the sky, and they got this magic skill that if they just want to hack somebody, they, just, they just use the keyboard, and then they hack. They think they got an RPG or something. They don't know that hacking depends on a on a depends on the situation. And, you, and first thing, the tools alone will never hack anything. The tools are used to use the vulnerabilities which you might know, so they can make use of that vulnerability for you to get what you want. And if you need to know what the, we need to see the vulnerabilities, we need to gather information. Go to Cali menu. Why I don't have it now, I think. Yeah, it's in front of me. See, look, <laughs> the first one says information gathering. That's the first category of the menu list that has the tools. Do you know what is the second? The second says vulnerability analysis, web application analysis. So first you gather information, and then you see the vulnerabilities. And after that, you use the tools to attack the system, to get in, to infiltrate the system, to see the data, and then you can either take it, steal it, change it, manipulate it, destroy it, do whatever you want with it. So it's like I'm back to my point because I'll never talk about. I'll never tell anybody how to hack nothing. Are there cases where you need to hack somebody? Yeah, we all know it. But my issue is with security. It's like you can't like like I don't want to talk about the attack side of this issue, but I want to talk about the protective side of the issue. If you can find a way to give everybody security, then you can if if this guy, the 50-year-old uncle really wants to save save Iran or help people or society or even capitalize or succeed, he would have to offer people the solution to their problem. And their problem is that they are attacked by someone else. And if you give them the security, then the solution is made.
So yes, I was crazy. I mean, I still, but I was crazy back then, and he's crazy now for trying. That he will never succeed. He's lost. He has the intention, but he is lost. So I'm saying that white lives matter because these things that I'm now saying are trying to be silenced, trying to get prevented, trying to like people are trying to prevent it so that they can, I don't know what they can do. And I'm mixing stuff here because that's how I think, but white lives matter. White people are not racist. When I say that only white people can be founders, can be administrators, can be secretaries, it's like me putting a fake position so that I can only let the white person handle it so that I can handle the real business in the back end and work in the security field. It's like me being racist. No, I believe that ethnicities don't have the same ability. Ethnicities don't have the same skill. We are different. How can we be the same if we are different? If we don't acknowledge our differences, then there is a, like, we let that, and that's the thing that brings me to the same point, which is this, the motto of the Confederates. It says, diversity makes us stronger. And, and somebody that is ignorant, that is uneducated, will see that slogan alone, do you know what they're going to say? They're going to say that's the globalist slogan because he knew what he said. Diversity makes us stronger. That means we should accept our differences so we can all be together and mix. When in reality, that's the slogan, the motto of the right-wing anti-globalist confederates. They say... We have to acknowledge our differences. We need to understand them. We need to adhere to them because that's what makes us strong. So when you come in and say, black lives matter, everybody else is living, but the blacks don't. And when you come to me saying that I should have white people working in certain positions is that white people can do stuff that black people can't do or Arabs or Latinos or Chinese cannot do, it's like you being racist because everybody can do what everybody else can. And a woman can do what a man does and a man can do what a woman does. And if you say no, you're sexist and you're racist. And that's how I get called every fucking time. And these people that accuse me of that are the ones that really don't care about women, don't care about blacks or Latinos or Arabs or Asians or Africans. Or they are they're actually the ones that don't care. It's a flip. It's like a, a very convoluted situation we got. I, in order for us to be together and equal, we have to understand what the fuck we have that is not equal so we can make it fucking equal. It's like when you become fake and you're a hypocrite. And you use these difference, these 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 things as a way to climb up without a real honest intent, you will end up in these situations to a real person. They'll recognize your fake because they're real. I'm real about this. So if you have a black guy that is a founder, isn't it's never gonna work. Now the label itself founder maybe should be changed into something else. Because that's not what it is anyway. These labels are only us trying to get close to the, what is the real position. White people can do management, administrating, business, seminars, conferences way better than anybody else that is not, that is not white. Women cannot do what a man can, but they can do as much in terms of effort and achievements. It's just that it's not the same work. Now, a woman can work in web development, but you don't expect them to do the same web development that a man does. She will never be good at it, but a man will never be good at what she does, too. So both of them can program, but they will not program the same thing in the same way. Now, I do feel sorry for women. I do feel sorry for black people, but trust me, white people are not racist. It's a lie. 
white people are the, the least racist people. I mean, look. <laughs> Like, the guy that talks about racism all the time is the guy that uses it for, for himself to, like, I'm here saying, I'm not even going to say all lives matter. I'm saying, nigga, white lives matter, okay? <laughs> because look at what the white people do. It's nice. I have I don't have any problem with it. So, this whole thing is to say that I'm not going to run into a globalist black lives matter uh, uh, anti-Trump um, you know um, uh, movement I will accept the fact that this is what it is and we need to deal with it in a, in a diverse way okay Cali Purple you, 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 you fucked up you really fucked up but that's the thing in the first place they're just doing it in a reverse I'm trying to bring black white people to be the front face of Cali <laughs> and the white people that are in Cali bringing black people to the front it's like they're they're on a different spectrum and they're doing this shit so all this is just to say that Cube if you don't really understand this point which I'm trying to make and you're always trying to argue with, with something that I already know and I don't have a problem with such as who invented or whether a black person can do or cannot or can or cannot in terms of ability then you have a problem bro you have a problem that you don't want to understand the differences. It's not about the ability. It's the type of ability. It's not about the intelligence as an amount. It's about the type of an intelligence. Because what is intelligence in the first place? But even if. Even if. Let's just put this hypothesis out there. Okay. Even if it turns out. That white people. The Aryan people. The Germans. You know the British have a higher IQ than me, me personally, who is not non-white but kind of dark, I will accept it. And if I don't, then that's a real problem. Because if we don't recognize each other's success and abilities, then boy, we have a big problem because we will not recognize our failures. We will not recognize the Holocaust. We will not recognize the retarded, the disabled. It's like coming in arrogantly, stupidly saying everybody else is the same. Trying to make it look like you're persecuted is, is, is stupid, bro. If white people are smarter than others that are non-white, and I don't believe so, but even if it turns out, who gives a fuck? He's smarter, so what? So what? It's like when I thought the worst book I've ever read. I didn't even finish it. It was sickening. Is the new Jim Crow, the new Jim Crow book that has the com most strongest victim mentality that I've ever seen to a point where I, I went through the third, fourth page and I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> it's crying and gnashing. It's like, yo, this guy is making it look like everybody else just left whatever they want to do just to come and persecute this guy. This this is like, and people still read that book, promote that book. Like, listen, man, we got to be clear. As you can see now, it's 23, 24 minutes I'm talking. And I didn't mention any religion. I didn't mention any ideal, ideology that is spiritual. I didn't attack any race in terms of actions. I didn't mention any politician. I didn't mention any, for example, a country. I'm just talking in concepts. Now, I did mention Cali and Kodachi, maybe, because I'm in the cybersecurity field. That's what it is. So, Oishbi and X and G are going to have a team full of white people because white lives matter. Hashtag white lives matter. I'm with this stuff, and I'm putting a hashtag. If you motherfuckers don't like it, then you know, I mean, you know, you know what? You, you, I'll, I'll let you finish that. Peace, dogs.